guys, so I just filmed a haul video and I wanted to get into some casual clothes and film a Q&A video for you guys because it has been so long since I've done a Q&A video for you. I went and I made myself some hot chocolate and it's really hot so I'm going to put that right back down. And I had to make hot chocolate instead of coffee because it is 11.33. I would love a cup of coffee right now but I will never go to sleep if I drink a cup of coffee right now. We're just going to be laid back answering some questions. I can't even remember what these questions are. Um, because I screenshot them a while back. It was like a few weeks ago. So I made like a little folder of all my screenshots. Harley asked, do you have a new boyfriend? And P.S. used to totes do a town, a house tour. Georgia seems so, oh, a town tour. Georgia seems so cute and pretty. Show us around, girl. Love you. I would never do a town tour to me. That's too personal. Um, and I don't have a new boyfriend. Oh, God, no. I'm not even close to having a boyfriend. I've been, I've been talking to this one guy about going out on a date uh, like next week but I haven't messaged him back because <gasps> there's a bug in here stop how did he get in here anyways like I was saying before I found that there was a moth in the house I I have been talking to this one guy about possibly going on a date uh I guess it would be a date I don't know next week and he asked me if I was free and I still haven't texted him back <laughs> that's how my dating life is going can you say something in French I can. I can say, I'm pretty sure this is how I say it. I have not taken French since elementary school, and I took French all through elementary school. I'll have songs come in my head at some points, um, like during my life, that are French, that I remember, and I'll just start singing them out loud, and people are like, what are you doing? <laughs> but, um, bonjour, je m'appelle Casey. I'm pretty sure that's correct, the correct way to say it. There was so much I learned, and I really wish I didn't have to take Spanish in middle school. Um, nothing wrong with Spanish, but, like, I loved French. French was my thing, and Spanish I just could not get the hang of, so I loved French. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful language. Spencer Pettit said, weirdest habit. Okay, I do this thing where if I'm bored, anxious, um, just kind of all of the above. I do this thing where I go like this to the back of my hair and I start feeling the strands like right here at the top of my head and if there's a strand that's like crinkly and not smooth I will find that strand and pull it out of my head. It's just something that I do if I'm anxious or bored or, or just kind of like thinking too much. Uh, it's, it's a weird habit to have. I used to pull my eyebrows. When I got like a lot of anxiety, I would sit there and I would pull out some eyebrow hairs, but I don't do that anymore. I've done the head one, I've done the one on my head for years, like so long. I'm so surprised that I have hair up there, but it's not like an everyday thing. It's just if I'm in the car or something like that, or if I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> one girl said, if you see a guy walking towards you, do you start looking from the top to bottom or from the bottom up? Ooh, I'm definitely top to bottom. Like I like to look at the face first and then see what I'm working with for clothing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm always, I always look at people's face first. Like facial features are first impressions to me, I guess. It's just always the first thing I gravitate towards. And then as I'm talking to you, my little eyes will just go, hmm, <laughs> just see what I'm working with. <laughs> oh God, step Step up your game said the last text you sent is the only thing you can shout during sex. What is it? Haha <laughs> for once. No, lol. That would be kind of weird. That's not too bad. KMF, Kill Mary, mm. Harry Styles, Cameron Dallas, and Taylor Lautner. Okay. Here's how this will go. I will marry Cameron Dallas because I love Cameron Dallas. I will F Harry Styles, Kill Taylor Lautner. Sorry. Oh my god, this is a good question. Keeping Up With Cam asked, if you had a billion dollars and you couldn't buy makeup, clothes, or beauty things, what would what would you be? By the way, you're a fabulous, by the way, you're a fabulous guru, and I love you. Well, thank you, and I love you too. Honestly, you guys, like, my goal in life is to, once I'm set in stone and I have a good base for myself, money-wise, I would love to start a no-kill shelter. Like, that is a goal of mine. I, I've just always thought about it, and it's just such a big thing for me. Georgia is the worst state for killing dogs, so I would love to have a no-kill shelter, multiple ones throughout Georgia, and then branch out. That's, like, a huge goal of mine I would love to achieve. At a movie theater, which armrest is yours? Definitely the right. Like, no matter what, my right arm will always have the armrest. Like, on my flight to LA the girl had both armrests and I was like girl one armrest per person. Baby Wanderer said are you a beach or snow kind of girl? I 
I love both. I think it just, it comes with the seasons. Like, whenever winter comes, I love snow. Whenever summer comes, I love the beach. It's just, it kind of just comes along with the seasons, but I do love both. I think they're both fun. What is your type of guy? My type of guy is tall, sweet, funny, sends flowers, damn it. We need a man that will send me flowers. It's so hard to find guys that do that. I love flowers. I don't care what what you get me. I, you could get me a freaking car. I don't care. I'm not going to love it as much as I would love flowers. Guarantee you. I just really love flowers. So I want him to have want him to buy me flowers. <laughs> Honestly though, he has to be funny. He has to be a little bit of a smart ass. Not a a butthole though, you know what I mean? A um, little bit of a smart ass to keep up and be funny and just get along with my friends and family. If you cannot get along with my friends and family, you are out the door. And if you don't like my dogs, oh, you are way out the door. Okay, Little Miss DJ asked, the thing you're most self-conscious about? Show off that twang girl, Southern Girls for Life. I have to say, on camera, I feel like some of my Southern accent does come out. Um, but not as much. I think it's just because I'm so focused on filming. But it doesn't come out as much as if you were to see me in person and talk to me in person, my southern accent just really comes out. I mean, I have little sayings that I say all the time. Um, I always say, God bless America, bless your heart. I, I'm, I'm very, very southern. I just think when it comes to filming videos, I, I get a little more... I know how I'm speaking. I don't know, it's really weird. If you watch some of my like my first videos, I'm really southern in those. Um, I think I just kind of went a little bit more of a professional route, but don't worry, the southern is coming back into the channel. Don't worry, I promise you, it will. I would say my teeth right now because I have these two teeth right here. They're shorter than the rest of them. They're called something, I forget what they're called. But those two teeth really drive me insane that they're not the same length as the rest of them. Thick crust or thin crust? Thick crust all the way. I love thick crust pizza. You can't beat it. It's so good. <laughs> Here's one. If you ever, if you have to set your alarm clock, do you only set one and get up right away or do you set at least three? I, oh my gosh, if I'm flying the night before, first off, I'll get like three hours of sleep, but I will set my alarm to six different times. It's so bad. And when I'm getting up, I definitely do at least three, at least three alarms because it takes me a hot minute. L Miss Little John said, when was the first time you realized in your last relationship that you two weren't going to work out? Um, we were together for four years and I knew we wouldn't work out right after we got engaged. Pretty soon into it. If you have to leave your TV on one station all day, what would it be? Definitely Bravo. I have not changed my TV station from Bravo unless it's Saturdays, which is super cross. So they only it only changes one day out of the week, and that's Saturdays when it's super cross time. And then after super cross is over, we go right back to Bravo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ava Elise 13 asks, what was the most embarrassing thing that happened to you? Okay. Well, so I met this guy when I was in Buckhead. If he watches this, I will never hear the end of it. I met this guy in Buckhead. So cute. And I was just like, yes, this is everything. I'm so excited. So he got my number or whatever, and we started texting. Well, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know, sometimes I post like little conversations of me and like if I'm having a conversation with a guy. It's funny, I post it because it's just funny. And most of the guys that I I think they don't follow me on Twitter. Like it's just not something I feel like they do right away. So I was I was okay, I had posted a couple of our conversations on Twitter and then I get a text later that says, You post in our conversations on Twitter and I was like Damn, you are looking it up. I was so embarrassed like I I got caught I have not gotten caught before but I got caught that time and I was like oh, Jesus no oh god it was so bad but he was totally cool about it um, this is why I don't have a boyfriend oh <laughs> Felicia Steph asked if I was chosen to be on The Bachelorette what five guys would I want to be fighting for me on the show okay so let me think about this Chuck Bass Nate Archibald, <laughs> Shep from Southern Charm, one of the Property Brothers, whichever one's single, I can't remember his name, but one of them's single, so one of the Property Brothers, and last one, Chris Hemsworth. 
Done. Could you imagine? Honestly, you don't even have to fight for me. They could all be my boyfriend. <laughs> Gabs asked, have you ever talked to a new guy back and forth just for his girlfriend to text you saying, don't text my man anymore? I've never had a woman text me and say, don't text him. Um, but I have talked to a guy numerous times. Not numerous times, but I was talking to him a lot and then found out he had a girlfriend. Randomly. His boys are dogs. By the way, speaking of dogs... I, I'm not getting another one, <laughs> but I have been keeping a journal ever since I broke up with my ex about all the dating experiences that I've had and just like things I've been, I've been going through with these guys. And with my channel, I love keeping it makeup and hair based, but I do want to bring a little bit more personality into it and be a little bit more personal with you guys. I'm really big into dating and relationships right now. So, um, I was wondering if you guys would want me to read out of my journal sometimes, like read a couple pages and kind of see a little bit of what's going on. Um, right now I'm in the stage of writing about a boy. Um, if you don't know what an F boy is, go look it up on Urban Dictionary because there's a lot of F boys running around the world and we just can't deal with them so we just write it all in a book. <sighs> Put it in the book, honey. I should call my journal the burn book for men. There's no women in there, only men. If you guys would like me to do something with that journal, like kind of read it off a little bit, I don't want to read like the whole thing because I would love to tweak it and make it into something in the future, but for now I think it would be fun just to kind of read you guys a little bit of something. And I just kind of want to do some different videos with relationship stuff, so let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And like this video if you want more relationship type videos and fun and serious. You know, you gotta have a little bit of both. You can't be serious all the time, you know what I mean? But I answer one, oh God, speaking of F boys, someone said, Tell us the F-boy story. You're so funny and I feel like we're having a sleepover and gossiping when you're telling your stories. Um, well, thank you, Claudia. I <laughs> That'll be saved for if you guys want me to read out my journal because Lord have mercy, honey. I have got, mm -mm. I've, I've come across quite a few F-boys and I can't deal with them anymore. Hey, it's Lex asked, what got you into liking motocross and would you date a guy who races motocross? Um, well, my ex got me into motocross, and that kind of sums that up. <laughs> he got me into supercross, and ever since, I have been addicted. Like, I love it. It's something I truly just enjoy. I stop things in my day to watch it. If I'm not able to watch it, I'm on Twitter watching the feed of, like, who's in first. Um, most of you know who I root for. I root for Eli Tomac, and I do root for Will Hahn. I was um, rooting with my ex for Ryan Villapoto. I do like Ryan Dungey as well. I think he's a great writer. And, I mean, I like, a, I like a bunch of different people, but mainly my number one that I have stuck with since I started loving motocross was Eli Tomac. And for me, I don't think I would date a motocross rider just because... I haven't had that great of experiences with motocross riders. Um, they're very busy. They don't... It's like a weird vibe. It's like the ones that I have met, they are... They're... How do I describe it? It's like... I don't know if it's me. I mean, it probably is, but they are just not... They'll say one thing and do another. Like, if you have plans, they can't make it. Or if they make plans, they cancel. Or... It's like they don't want to talk to you, but they kind of want to talk to you. It's like a weird, I can't figure them out. So, like, don't get me wrong, I love my space. It, would, it wouldn't be an issue with not having them around all the time. It's just, I would still want some sort of contact. And I feel like they're too busy for that, so probably not. Who the hell knows? I mean, I can't even text back a guy who lives, like, 15 minutes from me. Okay guys, so that is it for this Q&A video. I really hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to like it and subscribe. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.